careful what you wish for, my friends. I wanted two COVID cases uh, just before Milan Juve and I got it. Unfortunately, it was for us. Both Quadrado and Alexandro are positive to the COVID-19. So there we go. And also Morata is out with injury and Dybala has a slight fever. Very nice. <laughs> anyway, my friends, welcome to this preview of Milan against Juve. My name is Roman and this is Juve Therapy. It's not good. It's not good, my friends. It's not good. We are basically uh, out of the first choice wingbacks. We are without Alex Sandro, who hasn't played very well this season, <laughs> never mind, but it's just about the body to use on the left wing back or wing, whatever you want to call it. But on the right side, we have an even, even bigger issue because when we are fielding our top, top 11, Quadrado is in that team, whether we like it or not. Neither of those guys are attending the game tomorrow due to the uh, COVID positive test. And also Alvaro Morata, as I said, is out injured. So Dybala will start with Cristiano up front. Or will he though? Because he's got fever. At least this morning there was reported that he got a fever. Now it looks like he's feeling a bit better. So he will probably be joining the squad to Milano. But still, this is so touch and go, my friends. So what are we going to do about it, guys? Really? What choices do we have to make in order to field a competitive side against Milan? Right now, the good thing is that we have all the motivation we need to beat those guys. We are wounded, not just only in terms of the pandemic, but also in terms of the league standings. We are 10 points behind or something and we have been so inconsistent. We need to show some consistency, not only to ourselves, we owe it to ourselves as a club, but also to the fans, to me, because I demand something that resembles Scudetto contenders, resembles Scudetto favorites even. I demand to see something else than just thrashing of a provincial side, but then drawing or losing badly against another side. I don't want that. I want consistency. And will I get that tomorrow? I don't know. So what choices do we have to make in order to feel the competitive side? Well, we have Frabotta, who hasn't been playing very well, who hasn't been playing at all lately. Uh, he got 10 or 15 minutes uh, against Udinese last time. That's not enough. And also, we have Federico Bernardeschi. I see that very few uh, sources, a very few experts are mentioning him as a potential starter instead of Alexandro but I kind of feel that this could be and this could be the night for Federico Bernardeschi at least to try it out against Milan uh, if not if Farbotta will start then it basically means that Bernardeschi will leave during this January transfer market whether we like it or not that's unfortunately the facts because we need a clean clean winger on the left side because we only get the only one on the right side, which is Federico Chiesa, who will most certainly start. There are also talks about that Danilo might start on the, on the right wing back, just because he did so in the past. But he hasn't started as a wing back at all for Pirlo this season. So whether Pirlo trusts the guy, I don't know. But for me, it looks more of a solid defending trio with Danilo in there rather than slotting in an inconsistent Demiral, who is just basically straight back from injury. Alternative is also Giorgio Chiellini, who will probably be back at J Medical after 29 minutes. So we need to be careful with reconstructing the whole defense. So calma, calma. I won't be against fielding Federico Chiesa and Federico Bernardeschi on each flank. And let's see what happens. And also, that means that we can actually field Aaron Ramsey in the position that I would like to see him in. And of course Dybala, if he is fit enough to play, he will start. As for Milan, really quick, Zlatan will not be playing. Okay, fine, I don't care. Uh, Salimakers will not be playing, uh, Gabbia won't be playing, Ben Nasser won't be playing. And uh, Sandro Tonale is of course suspended because he got his red card against Benevento last time. But for sure, they talk about uh, tons of confidence. They, have, uh, they believe they're going to win every game. They believe they're going to win the Scudetto. They are such high confidence. Almost arrogant. So, you know what? Let's kick their asses tomorrow night. 
So this is the lineup I predict, whether we do go for the 3-5-2 or completely change it up uh, in terms of the formation, 4-4-2 four, four, or something, but we still need something from the left. But I really want to try Federico and Federico on each flank. And let's talk briefly about Calcio Mercato and that nonsense, because we are still looking for a striker. And we've searched high and wide for an overrated, old, over-the-top striker. Well, we've looked at Graziano Pelle, we've looked at, well, even Fabio Quagliarella, as much as I love the guy. It's too late, my friends. It's just too late. I know we remember him as a great player. He did score tons of goals for Sampdoria not just so long ago, but it's too late. It's too late. Move on. Graziano Pelle? Sure, yeah. The wages, he's 35. Is he ready for the challenge? I don't know. His missus is fine, though. But at the end of the day, if we bring in someone, I'll be okay. I will be content with the choice, whatever choice we make, because we need an extra body up there. And as I always say, I will support everybody who comes into my club. They start at zero. Not good, not bad. Prove me what you've got to play for this club. And we'll see what happens. And actually, it looks like we're going to sign Rovella from Genoa. He will probably be loaned out back to Genoa, but it's still a signing. My prediction for tomorrow, my friends, Milan Juve, wow, wow, wow. It's really, really hard to say because we are touch and go with the formation, with who will play, who will even attend the game. Uh, it's, it's just so crazy. I don't know. It's, it, the motivation needs to be there. Only the fact that we are 10 points behind should be enough for you to go out the pitch and just kill them. Just put 90 minutes of blood, sweat and tears onto that pitch. And that's it. And that, then we'll see what happens. But I want to see momentum. I want to see struggle. I want to see sacrificing. And I want to see us victorious towards the end. If we get it at the end of the day, it will mean so much for our confidence. You know what? I'm going to go for the crazy one. 2-0 Juve. Let's do this. Fino alla fine. Forza Juve. See you after the match, of course, for my full-time re reactions and player ratings live on this very channel. And we will be doing a La Panchina watch along for this game. So subscribe to La Panchina YouTube channel as well. See you then. Let's do this, my friends. COVID, no COVID. <laughs> Never back down.